Hi class, how are you today? That's radical. Wait, did I say that one already? All right, the learning target for today is to be able to simplify and divide higher order radicals. So we've been dealing with square roots, which are a type of radical, but now we're going to be dealing with higher roots, higher radicals. So cube root, fourth root, fifth root, so on. For the stale, you're a three if you can simplify and divide higher order radicals. You're a two if you can simplify higher order radicals. You're a one if you can simplify square roots. And you're a zero if you cannot simplify square roots. Let's get started. All right, so before we go into simplifying, I've made a few lists. And you remember when I taught you how to simplify square roots, I gave you a list of perfect squares. Well, now I have a list of perfect cubes, perfect fourths, perfect fifths, so on. So we have one cubed, which is one, two cubed, which is eight, three cubed, which is 27, four cubed, which is 64, five cubed, which is 125, and six cubed which is 216. And it goes farther. Uh, it goes to infinity, of course. But uh, these are the main ones you'll need to know. Perfect fourths. I have 1 to the fourth, which is 1. 2 to the fourth, which is 16. 3 to the fourth, which is 81. 4 to the fourth, which is 256. And 5 to the fourth, which is 625. You'll also notice that these are perfect squares. Perfect fourths is just something squared, squared. So 16 is 2 to the fourth, but it's also 4 squared. 81 is 3 to the fourth, but it's also 9 squared. And then we have perfect fifths. 1 to the fifth is 1. 2 to the 5th is 32, 3 to the 5th is 243, and 4 to the 5th is 1024. All right, and now let's simplify the radicals we have on the left here. So we have the cube root of 243. So we need to look at our list of perfect cubes and see what is the biggest perfect cube that can divide 243. That would be 27. So we're going to say cube root of 27 times, and then what's 243 divided by 27? That's 9. So the cube root of 9. And just like we did with simplifying square roots, we do the cube root of 27, which is 3, and then the cube root of 9 stays there. And this is our answer. So just like with the square roots, but this time we're looking at specifically perfect cubes. Then the fourth root of 64. So. What's the biggest perfect fourth that we can divide out of 64? That would be 16. And what's 64 divided by 16? That's going to be 4. So we've got the fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of 4. And then the fourth root of 16 is 2 and then times the fourth root of four. All right, and now a little bit more simplifying, but this time we've got some variables thrown in. So we're going to simplify the cube root of 625 r to the eighth. So first we're gonna split these up, so we're just looking at the cube root of 625 
And then we'll look at the cube root of r to the eighth. So for the cube root of 625, we need a perfect cube we can divide out of 625. That's going to be 125. And 625 divided by 125 is 5. And then r to the eighth. So how many r cubes are in r to the eighth? Well, there are two r cubes. And r to the third, r to the third, that's r to the sixth. So we're going to have two left over. All right. so. Deal with the perfect cubes first. We have cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of r to the third, or the cube root of r cubed, is r. And we have two of them. So we're going to have r squared. And then everything else is under the cube root, where we have 5 and r squared. And that's our answer. Very similar for this next one, but we're going to split up all three of these. So we've got the fourth root of 405, the fourth root of m to the fourth, and the fourth root of n to the ninth. And so what's a perfect cube that, or sorry, what's a perfect fourth that we can divide out of 405? That's going to be 81. And 405 divided by 81 is 5. And then the fourth root of m to the fourth. So how many m to the fourths are in m to the fourth? Well, just one. So for right now, I'm just going to leave this as fourth root of m to the fourth. And then how many n to the fourths are in n to the ninth? Two. And that would leave us n to the eighth, so we have one left over. So the fourth root of n. Then we take all of our perfect fourths. That'll give us fourth root of 81 is 3. The fourth root of m to the fourth is m. And we have two fourth root of n to the fourths. So that's n times n, which is n squared. And then the fourth root, everything else is under the fourth root. That'll be 5n. And this is our answer. All right, now let's talk about dividing higher order radicals. So here on this first one, we have two cube roots. So cube root of 48 divided by the cube root of 32. So just like with the square roots, the first thing we want to do is see if we can simplify anything out, see if we can reduce these numbers. Is there any number that can divide 48 and 32? Well, yeah, there's actually a bunch. The biggest ones, though, uh, is, the biggest one, though, is 16. So if we say divide both of these by 16, that'll give us the cube root of 48 divided by 16 is 3. And 
cube root of 32 divided by 16 is 2. Now we need to get the cube root out of the denominator. So when we were doing square roots, we would multiply by the square root of 2. Because when you multiplied a square root by a square root, that was squaring the square root, and that canceled out the square and the square root. Well, this time we need to cube it. So we actually have to multiply by the cube root of 2 on top and bottom twice. So on the bottom, we are cubing the cube root of 2. And so that leaves us with 2 on the bottom. We could say the cube root of 8, which is 2, um, but you can also just say 2 in this case. So then on top, we've got 3 times 2 times 2, all still under the cube root, and 3 times 2 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12. And the only factors there are 3, 2, and 2. None of those show up three times. So that is as simple as we can make this problem. Then on this next one, 2 and 27, you can't divide any of either of those uh, by any of the same number. So we can just multiply here. However, let's actually look at this a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite the fourth root of 2. And then on the bottom, I'm going to rewrite the fourth root of 27. 27 is just 3 cubed, right? 3 times 3 times 3. So we've got fourth root of 3 times fourth root of 3 times fourth root of 3. So that means in order to get a perfect fourth, we would need to multiply the denominator and the numerator in this case by one more three. We only need one more to get a perfect fourth. So we need to multiply as many times to get a perfect fourth. So we can multiply the top and the bottom by the fourth root of three. And now on the bottom, that leaves us with fourth root of 3 to the fourth, which is just 3. And on the top, we have the fourth root of 6. 2 times 3 is 6. And this is now as simple as we can get it. All right, now time for the sponge activity. For number 1, we have the cube root of 250. For number two, we have the fourth root of 80 and the fifth. For number three, we have the cube root of three over the cube root of five. And for number four, we have the fourth root of five over the fourth root of nine. All right, that's it for this lesson. Once again, please make sure to take notes on the entire lesson. Take a picture of all your notes and the sponge activity. Submit it all to Doodle Classroom and have a good night.